Hey there, Johnny May here and welcome to this week's quick tip where I'm going to teach you how I'm able to play hundreds of jazz tunes from memory and how you can do the same. Now a lot of students think that if you want to play hundreds of tunes from memory, you have to be some sort of musical genius, but that couldn't be further from the truth. You see, the way I'm able to play hundreds of tunes from memory and professional jazz pianists can do the same is that they've memorized the eight chord progressions that are used in 99% of jazz standards. So once you learn these eight chord progressions, you'll easily be able to play hundreds of jazz tunes. So in today's quick tip, I'm not only going to teach you these eight chord progressions, but I'm going to teach you a formula to easily remember these chord progressions, plus I'm going to teach you a bunch of different songs that these chord progressions are used on. So let's go ahead and dive in. So what are these eight chord progressions and how do you actually memorize them so that you can start easily memorizing jazz standards. Well, these eight chord progressions, or what I call chord patterns, I call the turnaround progression, the cycle of fifths chord progression, the extended turnaround, the minor turnaround, the sentimental progression, the misty progression, the chromatic walk-up progression, and your blues progression. And once you learn all eight of these progressions, you will find that about 99% of jazz tunes will use one of these progressions or a combination of these progressions. So let's talk about the first progression. It's called the turnaround progression, and it is probably the most common chord progression used in jazz tunes. For example, it's used on I Got Rhythm. The way you look tonight. heart and soul, and literally a ton of other tunes. So I like to start off with this chord progression. So what is the turnaround chord progression? Well here it is very simply. Uh, we're going to play this in the key of C major, C, E, G, and B. This is a seventh chord in the key of C major, okay, all white notes, and we're just stacking thirds. And we call this a one chord in the key of C because it starts on the first note of the C major scale. Okay, this is a one chord. Uh, the next chord is an A minor seven, all white notes, A, C, E, and G. Again, we're skipping every other note from the C major scale. And this chord is built on the A or the sixth note of the scale. So we call it a six chord. Next chord is a D minor, D, F, A, C. This is a chord built on the second note of the C major scale. So we call this the two chord, okay? And then our final chord, the G7, is our five chord, okay? It's built on one, two, three, four, five, the fifth note of the C major scale. And again, we're just skipping every other note to build our chord, okay? So the turnaround progression is called a one, six, two, five chord progression. And this is the formula that I recommend that you use to memorize this chord progression. One, six, two, five. Okay, so once you learn this chord progression, you can easily take melodies like I Got Rhythm, right? Or The Way You Look Tonight, or Heart and Soul, and play it over this chord progression. All right, before I teach you the next progression, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. All right, the second must know progression, again, this will help you be able to memorize hundreds of jazz tunes, is the cycle of fifths progression. Very common chord progression. This is what this progression sounds like on a variety of tunes, starting with Fly Me to the Moon. Here it is on Autumn Leaves. Here it is on All the Things You Are. Okay. 
Believe it or not, the three tunes that I just played all use the same progression. It is called the cycle of fifths progression. So how does this chord progression work? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna think of this chord progression as being in the key of C, just like we did for the turnaround chord progression. So what's the first chord for this chord progression? It's an A minor seven chord or a six chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? That's generally where you will see this chord progression start. The next chord is a D minor 7. It's a 2 chord in the key of C. 1, 2. And it's a fifth interval down from A. If I start on that A and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I end up on the D minor 7 chord. Okay, And this is why we call this the cycle of fifths chord progression is because Every new chord is going to be a fifth interval down. So if we go down five more notes, one, two, three, four, five, to a G7, this is our next chord in the cycle of fifths chord progression. This is a five chord in the key of C. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next chord is a C major seven. That's a one chord because we're in the key of C. Then we're gonna go to a four chord F major seven. That's built on the fourth note of C. A seven chord, B minor seven flat five is the name of this chord. If you don't know all the theory, that's okay. You will start to understand it over time, but I just want you to understand the basic idea here. Uh, the E chord is our next chord. This is a three chord in the key of C. And normally a three chord is played like that because there's no G sharp in the C major scale, but it is very common to alter this just a little bit and make it a dominant seven chord, okay? So that's gonna be the three chord and then finally the six chord. Okay, and basically this brings us back to where we started. E is a fifth above A, okay? So this is the cycle of fifths chord progression. You can think of it as a six, two, five, one, four, seven, three as a formula for this chord progression. So once again, in the key of C, you know, six, two, five, one, four, seven, three, six. Does that make sense? So it definitely follows a little pattern. And once you memorize this chord progression, you can take all of these melodies, like Fly Me to the Moon, and it follows this entire chord progression. that amazing? Or Autumn Leaves. This is a really nice tune. Uh, same chord progression. There's our A to D, G, C, F, B minor 7 flat 5, E7 to A minor. Okay. Same with all the things you are. Start on A minor. Right? So this is how the cycle of fifths chord progression works. Now before I teach you the next chord progression, if you want to do a deep dive on the two chord progressions I just taught you, I recommend that you check out our amazing turnaround course and our cycle of fifths in three jazz styles courses over at pianowithjohnny.com and I'll put a link to those below. All right, let's move along and talk about progression number three, a must know chord progression. This is the extended turnaround chord progression. It is used in tons of different songs, including They Can't Take That Away From Me. Teach Me Tonight. I see you. Okay, lots and lots of songs use this chord progression. So how does this chord progression work? Well, once again, we're thinking of this progression in terms of the key of C major. And so the first chord is a one chord. That's gonna be a C major seven. Second chord is a four chord built on F, okay? Now there's kind of two ways you'll see this chord. You'll see major seven like this or you'll see dominant seven like this. Okay, it kind of depends on the tune, and sometimes you have both options depending on where the melody is at, but just know on the four chord, you might see it major or you might see it dominant seven. Next chord is a three chord, okay? So we have one, four, three. Next chord is a six chord, okay? 
It's an A chord. Now this chord you might see minor seven like this or you might see dominant seven. Again, you will often have both options and it sort of depends on the melody uh, in terms of which chord you want to use. Uh, next chord is a two chord. Then we're gonna, we're gonna go to a five chord and then a one chord. Okay, so this is the extended uh, turnaround chord progression. Here's the formula for this chord progression. One, four, three, six, two, five, one. Okay, and remember that you can change the chord quality on the four and the six chord. You can go C major seven, F major seven, E minor seven, A minor seven. Okay, so I would practice it both ways. Uh, once you've practiced this chord progression, you can try it with some of these melodies, like they can't take that away from me. One, four, three, six, two, and five, right? Or teach me tonight. One, four, three, six, two, Okay, or the more I see you. One, four, three, six, two, five. All right? All right, progression number four is the minor turnaround chord progression. I love this chord progression, and it's used in, again, lots and lots of different jazz tunes. For example, it's used in You Don't Know What Love Is. softly as in a morning sunrise. Lullaby of Birdland. Okay, really, really important progression to know. So how does the minor turnaround chord progression work? Well, we're gonna be in the key of C minor. Okay, so we're gonna use a C minor seven chord. That's typically the chord that you would use if you were in the key of C minor. That's the C natural minor scale there, okay? So that's the one chord. Uh, this is a minor seven chord quality. And if you are looking over here at the formula, you'll notice here it's now using Roman numerals. It's a one chord, but it's a minor seven chord quality, okay? Uh, next chord is a six chord in the key of C minor. This actually uses a different minor scale called the melodic minor scale. And this is built on the sixth note of that scale, A, C, E, flat, and G. That's a six chord in C minor. And the chord quality is called minor seven flat five or half diminished, okay? That's the way we typically play a six chord in a minor tune, all right? Uh, the two chord is a D minor seven, the flat five, okay, or D half diminished. It's a two chord, minor seven flat five is the chord quality. And then the five chord is a G seven. So this is the minor turnaround chord progression. It's a one, six, two, five chord progression. It's a lot like the major turnaround, except it uses minor chords. So once you've learned this chord progression in the key of C, then you can try some of these melodies on it, like you don't know what love is. Right, beautiful. Uh, softly as in a morning sunrise. Lullaby of Birdland. Okay, so you really wanna practice this. Another thing that's really helpful is to try this in some other keys. Once you can successfully play a chord progression like this in C minor, then maybe try it in, you know, A minor. Now before I teach you the next chord progression, if you wanna do a deep dive on the last two chord progressions I taught you, you can in our extended turnaround improv course and in our cocktail jazz piano accompaniment courses over at Piano with Johnny, so I'll put a link to those below. Okay, the fifth essential chord progression that you really need to know if you wanna be able to play hundreds of jazz tunes by memory is what I call the sentimental chord progression. It is a gorgeous chord progression and it's used on lots of tunes. For example, here it is on My Funny Valentine. Here it is on Blue Skies. And here it is on It Don't Mean a Thing. 
okay? Believe it or not, these three songs all use the same chord progression. I call it the sentimental chord progression. So how does this chord progression work? Well, we're gonna play it in the key of C minor, just to keep things simple. And so this is the one chord in C minor. And for this particular chord progression, we're gonna start on just a simple C minor chord with no seven in it, okay? Now the next chord is an interesting chord. It's a, it's a minor chord on the one, but it's over the seventh note from the C scale. What's the seventh note from the C scale? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a B natural, okay? So we're gonna play a C minor, but in the bass, we're gonna put a B natural. Okay, and there's different ways to play this. You could play it like that and just remove the C, or you could put the C minor chord up there and put the B in the bass like that. But the point is you wanna play a C minor chord and get the B natural in this chord. There are different ways you could think of this chord. You could think of it as a one chord with a slash and then a seven, meaning it's a one chord over the seven, or you can think of it as a C minor major seven. In other words, we're adding a major seven to the C minor. Either way, it's the same chord, and I wanna make sure you understand this concept, okay? So we have a one chord, that's minor. We have a one chord over the seven, so that's C minor with a B in the bass. Next chord is a one chord again, C minor, but we're gonna put the flat seven in the bass, the B flat, okay? And again, we're thinking of this sort of related to the C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the flat seven, okay? So C minor seven, B flat is in the bass. You could also think of this as a C minor seven chord, okay? Kind of two ways to think of this chord. And then the final chord is a C minor with an A in the bass, okay? It's a one chord, but we put the sixth in the bass or the sixth note, one, two, three, four, five, six, from the C scale, okay? You could also think of this chord as a C minor six chord, okay? It's the same chord, just kind of two ways of thinking of the chord, okay? So this is the sentimental chord progression. It has this little bass note on the bottom moving down. Isn't that gorgeous, okay? Or you can put it on the top. Lots and lots of tunes use this chord progression. So once you've learned this chord progression, then try it on these tunes. Or Blue Skies. Or It Don't Mean a Thing. Very important chord progression to know. By the way, the lesson sheet music you're seeing up here on the top left of the screen is downloadable and printable over at pianowithjohnny.com. You can also change the key of this entire lesson with the click of one button with our smart sheet music. So I'll put a link to all of that below. All right, you're doing a great job. And the next chord progression I call the Misty chord progression. And this comes from the classic jazz tune, Misty. Okay, check it out. Gorgeous. It's also used on the nearness of you. And Ode to Joy. Okay, lots and lots of different tunes. So how does this chord progression work? Well, we're in the key of C major once again. This is a one chord. And then we're gonna do something really cool with this chord progression. We're actually gonna very temporarily leave the key of C major and we're gonna go to the key of F major, okay? So we're starting on this home key, the one key, but we're gonna go to the four key. This is the fourth note of this, the C scale. And what are we gonna do in the four key? Well, we're gonna play a two, five, one chord progression. So what's the two chord in the key of F major? Well, it's a G minor chord, okay? And you can either play a, just a normal minor triad or you can play it as a seventh chord, okay? All we're doing is we're taking the notes of F major and we're stacking thirds on the second note to create a two chord in F. Then we're gonna go to the five chord in F. Well, what's the five chord in F? One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna build a chord on the C, that's a C7. And then we're gonna play the one chord in the key of F, which is F major seven, okay? So this chord progression is a one chord in the key of C, and then we're gonna go two, five, one in F, which is two, five, one. 
okay? This is used on tons and tons of different tunes. It's a very important progression to know. And once again, the way to think of it is one, two, five, one, but make sure the two, five, one is in the new key. Once you're able to play this, then you can start exploring tunes that use this, like Misty. Here's the nearness of you. Here's Ode to Joy. Isn't that gorgeous? Now before we move on and I teach you the next chord progression, if you want to do a deep dive on the last two chord progressions, you can in our Sentimental Progression course and in our Six Jazz Ballad Harmonic Approaches course. All right, progression number seven is a really fun one. This is what I call the chromatic walk-up progression and it's used on lots of classic jazz tunes. Here's what it sounds like on Ain't Misbehavin'. Here it is on Makin' Whoopie. Here it is on It's Only a Paper Moon. Okay, it has this sort of walk up uh, motion in the bass, and it's such a cool harmonic technique used on lots of different tunes. So how does this chord progression work? Well, we're gonna start on a one chord in the key of C, and we're gonna sort of color this chord just a little bit. We're gonna put the six on this chord to make it sound a little bit jazzy, okay? So this is a one chord, C6. The second chord is a C sharp diminished seven. It's all minor intervals, okay? You could think of this as a sharp one, because if we're in the key of C, and you sharp it, it's a C sharp, and the chord quality is it's a diminished seven chord, okay? Next chord is a two chord in the key of C. Okay. I'm making this a D minor seven. You could also just play this as a regular D minor triad, but I'm just adding an additional note to it. And then the third chord you really need to know is a D sharp diminished seven. It's all minor intervals. And you could think of this as a sharp two chord, okay? And the chord quality is diminished seven. Okay, so here's your formula here. One chord, sharp one diminished seven, two chord, sharp two diminished seven. And once you've learned this, you can start trying this on different melodies that use this progression. Here it is on Ain't Misbehavin'. Okay, um, making whoopee. Now, sometimes these progressions will get cut off and it will move to one of the other chord progressions. For example, on It's Only a Paper Moon, after that two chord, it deviates and it goes to a five chord. So sometimes these chord progressions are not used in the exact same way across tunes, but generally speaking, you will see them uh, very similarly used between tunes. All right, for our final chord progression, you might have been wondering, is Johnny gonna mention the blues? Of course I'm gonna mention the blues. The blues is the foundation of jazz music. And so one of the most common chord progressions you will see in jazz standards is your blues progression. Okay, and here's just a few blues tunes. There are hundreds of blues tunes that use this chord progression, but here are a few of my favorites. Here's St. Louis Blues. Here's C Jam Blues. Here's Route 66. Okay, lots of ways to actually play this chord progression. You can walk bass lines, you can do a, a shuffle, you can play boogie octaves, but the fundamental chord progression remains the same regardless of how you play your bass lines. So what is the blues chord progression? Well, it's one of the simplest chord progressions to learn. There's only three chords generally in a blues. First chord here is gonna be on our C here, C, E, G, and B flat. Okay, this is a one chord in the key of C major, and the chord quality is a dominant seven chord. Now when you're playing blues, you're generally gonna make most of your chords dominant seventh chords, so keep this in mind. Okay, that's the first chord, a one chord. Next chord is a four chord, we play this on the F. F, A, C, E flat, okay, that's a four chord, we add the E flat, making it dominant seven, and then we go back to one, and we play it again, one. 
syndicate. So kind of the first little section of a 12 bar blues is one, four, one, one. And here's your formula, one, four, one, one, okay? The second section is four, four, and then one, one. Okay, pretty simple. The last section is gonna be five, that's our G chord, five, four, one, five. Okay, and again, if you go back to this formula, you can easily memorize it. One, four, one, one, four, four, one, one, five, four, one, five. And I would encourage you to think of it in three sections where each section has four chords. Once you're able to play these chords, then you can start playing these melodies. St. Louis Blues. Works perfectly over this chord progression. C Jam Blues. Again, works perfectly in Route 66. Sounds great. Now, if you want to do a deep dive on the last two chord progressions I taught you, you can in our Play Lead Sheets with seventh chords and in our 10 Lesson Blues Challenge. Hey, thanks for watching this week's quick tip, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons in jazz, blues, theory, technique, and a ton of other styles, plus we do live events for our students. So go check out Piano with Johnny, and I'll see you in the next one.